Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech and these are the list of 25 must-have apps on your Honor 5X. So guys, if you have any doubts or if you have any suggestions, do let me know by commenting below this video. So guys, let's get started. So first thing is the GSAM battery monitor app. So as the name suggests, it's a battery monitoring app. The stock battery monitor app or the default battery settings aren't as good as this app. So I usually end up using this app. So using this app, I get this nice graphical representation of how the battery got drained when the screen was on and when the screen was off. So guys, definitely use the app if you want to know how quickly your phone gets charged or discharged. So guys, the next apps are browsers basically. So the first one is the Link Bubble and the second one is the Firefox browser. I use the Firefox browser only because it can block ads and pop-up windows while I'm browsing. So for that to work, we need to install an ad blocker plugin and it works really well. Next we have this Link Bubble. So this is the link bubble and as you can see, it has opened a web page in a bubble just like the Facebook chat head. So that's the advantage of using link bubble. So if you want to open say 5 or 10 links, if you do it without link bubble, you will always be redirected to the stock browser. If you are using link bubble, all those 10 websites or links will be opened in this bubble and you can easily access them or read through them in this view. All the websites or all the web pages are not supported using the link bubble. So you can choose to open that particular web page even in your default browser. So apart from that, the link bubble is really power hungry. So it will drain your battery very quickly because it is a very CPU intensive app. So don't use it for too long and don't use it for many apps. So guys, the next app is OVO, which is a timer. So you can simply rotate your finger in clockwise or anti-clockwise to increase or decrease the time. And, and it has a maximum limit of 60 minutes. So it has a very simple and unique design unlike any app that I've seen. So guys the next app is app dialer and this is how it looks. And this is my app drawer and I have definitely more than 100 apps. And if I want to search for any particular app, I find it really lazy to search through this entire app drawer even if the apps are arranged in an alphabetic order. So I use app dialer. So if I want to open MX player, I can search for M and X. So I need to press 6 and 9 and I'll get the shortcut for MX player. And if I want to open Google Play Store, I can search for play and I have the shortcut. We can even use this app for contacts, but I mainly use it for apps. So this is definitely a must have productivity app. So guys, the next app is Lemma, which is a location based automation app. So if you want to configure your phone such that whenever you are at home, your Wi-Fi gets turned on and when you leave your home, your Wi-Fi gets turned off. This is the app that you can use as it doesn't use your GPS location it saves you a lot of battery. So that's the reason why I use it. So the next app in our list is TSF Shell Launcher, which is the stock launcher that I'm currently using. This is by far the best launcher that I've used. It comes with basically all the options and all the customization features that you could ever imagine. It comes with something nice called as Lasso Mode. So simply select the apps and now you can delete those shortcuts or arrange them or simply put them in a folder. So let me just arrange them. And apart from that, you get this cool animations. So just give it a try. By the way, I think it is currently free only in India and in US it will cost you like 5 or 7 dollars. So guys, the next app in our list is share it and this is how it looks. It's an app that you can use to share files between your phone and any device having the share it application. So you have the same app on all the platforms, your PC, your Mac, other Android phones, even Windows phones. And I guess you have the same app on all the platforms, your Macs, your iPhones, Windows phone. So basically you can use this app to transfer files, say images or videos or contacts from your phone to anyone who has the same app. So guys, the next app is InShorts, which is actually a news app. So it tries to summarize any news article into less than 100 words or maybe 60 words. So I can get information about most of the things within the least amount of time. So guys, these are some note taking apps. This is the order. So if you have some small amount of information to store and quickly share it with your friends, use Google Keep. And if you have a moderate information and if you want to categorize them and collect them and arrange them in terms of pages, books, notebooks, then use Evernote. And if you have a lot of information and if you want to be hyper organized, maybe if you want to take notes, then use OneNote. And all these apps are free for basic usage and OneNote is completely free. Evernote comes in free version and a premium subscription. So guys, the next app is ES File Explorer. So apart from being a normal file explorer, you can transfer files from your phone to any phone. Once again, having the same ES File Explorer, you can back up your apps, uninstall your apps and do a lot of stuff with this single application. So just give it a try. 
Next we have here maps which is a good alternative for the Google Maps and on here maps you can download the map of an entire continent, a country or a state and transfer it to your SD card. So they are basically offline maps and you can even navigate using those offline maps. So you can basically search for any location on those offline maps. Next app is Truecaller which is an online repository of phone numbers. So once you register for Truecaller and install the app on your device and obviously log in into it. Every time you get a call from any unknown number, Truecaller tries to find out that contact name and display you. If the caller is a spammer then it will also intimidate you. The next app is called a swipe pad. Once it is running you can specify it a trigger edge. So currently this is the trigger and when I swipe my finger from the right edge or from the trigger area I get access to some shortcuts. So as of now I have configured only one shortcut app dialer. So I need to just place my thumb over it and release it and it will launch that application. So it is a very easy and intuitive way to open your favorite apps. So guys the next app is AirDroid. So this is how it looks. I have logged it. So it is basically a web based PC suit for your phone. You can download and install apps, backup and restore your contacts, messages and call logs and do a lot of cool stuff with it. The next app is Cam Scanner, which is a document scanner. So this app comes somewhere in between your camera and your scanner. So you can take pictures with this app, it will crop the picture for text and enhance the text and gives you a scanned preview. So it will definitely replace your need for a temporary scanner. So the next app in our list is Battery Guru which is by Snapdragon and obviously it runs on phones based on Snapdragon processor and as your device is running on Snapdragon processor this is a must have app on your device to improve your battery life. So it basically analyzes your day to day usage for a couple of days, I guess 3 days and based on that it will simply block applications and thereby increase your battery life. So guys the next app is Gallery Vault using which you can hide images, wallpapers and any kind of files on your Android device. The best thing about it is you can hide your files and move it to your SD card, make a backup of it, decrypt it, encrypt it, export all your hidden files to a specific folder. These are the features that are mostly not available on other apps that do the same thing. So guys next we have these keyboard applications. So firstly SwiftKey which is the best app if you use swipe a lot and next we have the touchpad keyboard. So if you want to just use swipe to type then use SwiftKey and if you want something more than swipe then definitely go with touchpad. The swipe feature or autocorrect isn't as good as SwiftKey but touchpad has this awesome features like you can simply swipe up on the top keys to enter numbers and swipe from the back button over here to delete it and apart from that you have a clipboard manager and a navigation buttons. So you have shortcuts for cut, copy and paste and this is the clipboard and recently they have added a text expander option. So tons of features, do check it out. Next we have an automation based app called Automated which works without root access. It does few simple tasks automatically without root permission. With root permission it can perform much more complex tasks. So I use it to configure my phone in such a way that during night say from 12 to morning 7am my Wi-Fi and Bluetooth gets automatically disabled and at 7am once again Wi-Fi and Bluetooth gets turned on. So you can use this app to do those kind of automation tasks. So guys the next app is ttorrent which is actually a torrent client. So if you are someone who wants to download torrents on your mobile then this is the app that you should definitely try. I have used other torrent clients in the past but most of them didn't download the torrents completely. They showed that the torrents were downloaded completely 100% but the files wouldn't play or they had some issues. So this is one app that never let me down. So definitely do give it a try. Next we have some media players. So MX player is definitely the best media player for watching videos. You have different modes like software, hardware and hardware plus and it works really well. And the next alternative is VLC media player. Both are free and I guess on MX player you get ads and on VLC we don't see any ads. I'm not pretty sure about that. So the only reason I use VLC is to watch videos at slow motion, especially trailers where they try to show lot of information or lot of scenes very quickly. So for that I use VLC player. Next we have pocket. So if you have any article or a web page that you want to read offline, then you send that link to pocket and it will copy that web page and makes that web page accessible or readable for you offline. It's a multi-platform app so you have this app on every platform, Windows, Mac, iOS, every platform. So definitely do give it a try. So the next app is PowerAmp which is So guys this is the PowerAmp which is a media player or a music player. So this is by far the best one that I've used. So once again do give it a try. Next we have iMo which I've been using very recently. 
I use it mainly to make video calls and the video quality and audio quality are pretty good. And the next app is Opera Max and this is how it looks. So if you want to save some data while you are browsing on your mobile data or watching videos on your mobile data, then this is the must have app for you. So just install it and enable mobile data and Wi-Fi if you want. And it basically compresses the data and decompresses it on your phone. It is a little CPU intensive, but once again, it will definitely save you a lot of mobile bandwidth. Next, we have Hotspot Shield. If your country is blocking access to any web pages, then using this particular app, you can access those web pages. So it will basically use a VPN to reroute your traffic from some other location. So the entire app is very simple to use. Just install it, open it and press this button and you're done. So the only disadvantage is it shows you a lot of ads. So there you have it guys, these are my list of 25 must have apps on your Honor 5X. If you have any doubts or any recommendations, do let me know by commenting below this video. And if you found this video to be helpful, give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this.